If you thought you were done upgrading your television, you were wrong. Get ready for 4K TV. That means twice the number of horizontal and twice the number of vertical pixels for four times the overall number of pixels on the screen. The result, better picture, better clarity, and better detail. At Sony Pictures Studios here in LA, they are ready for and possibly even launching the 4K revolution. They're designing new cameras, shooting all new content, and remastering that big library of movies and TV. So let's talk about 4K specifically. What does that mean for consumers? What we're, we're doing with ultra high def is expanding the range of colors that we can actually put on the screen. We're expanding the range of, of contrast so that the, the brightest bright, the, the highlights that reflect off of something can really be truly as much higher than the things around them as they would be in real life. And it creates a greater sense of immersion, more realism in, uh, in looking at the picture. To make that realism and immersion possible, Sony has built some new cameras that can shoot 4K and even 8K native content. 8K blasts all the way to 7680 by 4320 pixel resolution. So we're gonna find out what we look like on 4K. They're rolling on us. And then what are some of the things that you can do with a digital image that comes out of a camera like this? Well, one of the things we've done with this is when you decode the picture, you can decode it as a 4K picture, or you can decode it as 6K or 8K. And what that means you can do is that you can reposition within the picture. You can zoom in, you can blow up parts of the picture and still have a full 4K image. And the 4K operation goes on over at Colorworks, Sony's main hub for post-production. Specialists work on scanning and color correcting 4K content and remastering older shows and movies into 4K. Today, they're restoring Lawrence of Arabia into 4K frame by frame. What's amazing to film nerds is that they're resurrecting these movies from the original 35 millimeter negative instead of a processed print. As a result, there's no image degradation because 35 millimeter was actually the 4K of its day. Here's the before image of Lawrence of Arabia. And for after, we got a chance to visit Sony's viewing space. The difference won't be visible to you, but trust me, it's major. So if you can press in to see the detail, you'll see that there's a great deal more detail in the, the horses. You can see that the, the image holds up even when you blow it up and double it. So you could just zoom and zoom? So, I mean, even to the naked eye, and even standing off frame, off axis, like you said, I mean, you can right. see the difference is phenomenal. The 4K TV story is even more than just the pixels. New 4K TVs can also display more colors than existing HD TV sets. All that translates into a new specification called Ultra High Definition, or Ultra HD. It also means ultra high prices, at least for now. Prices are coming down, but expect to pay between $5,000 all the way up to $40,000 for a 4K TV. So what is the, the future of 4K? Consumers are just starting to learn about it. You guys are way ahead of the game. What, what's, gonna, what's it going to look like in two or three years? I expect that it's going to be a little bit like we've seen with HD. And I think that it's, it's reasonable to expect that you know, within the next three to five years that 4K displays are going to be more and more common. So 4K is inevitable and you'll be there. <laughs>